Hi, this is Professor Lomax talking about insulation sleeves for hot water tanks. If you take a look up here, this here is a vent for the hot water heater that is a gas hot water heater. This is a double insulated wall uh, vent right here, but it still gets very, very hot. It could cause a potential fire hazard. So the inspector wants a sleeve around, around this to protect it up in the attic because we're up in the attic because we're going to blow insulation up to about eight uh, 14 inches here but the the inspector does not want any insulation touching this at all this this flue so we built this sleeve and what i did is i went to the air conditioning company and they bend a lot of metal and stuff and they made these little tabs for me to bend over so I put it together and I, I just bent the tabs over. They pre-cut it for me because they were very nice. In fact, they didn't even charge me any money because I, I did a lot of work with them. So I have a, a top here and I have a bottom here. And all we do is that we, it'll be a compression fit right here. We just crush this in a little bit so it'll stick to it. And the top we have to make just a little bit loose so it slides up in there. Check this out. One thing I just want to state before we do that, this is a three inch pipe. This is a six inch pipe that works fine. It'll slide right up in there. See how that slides nice? Now watch this part right here. Come up, and look at that. It's a friction fit all by itself. We just slide it right to the elevation where the sheetrock is going to be. It will rest right on top of the sheetrock right there. No insulation will blow in. Come around here, man. No insulation will blow in and hit this hot part of the uh, flue right here. It'll only hit this sleeve right here. It'll be well protected. It stays in place. Sheetrock comes up, boom, it's done. And we're in great shape. So this is the quick tip of the day for chimney uh, flue insulation sleeves.